Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel and in this video I am gonna make a very basic game and I am gonna use all the technologies in the Python language that we have learned so far like function, loop, if else and things like that. So without wasting any more time, uh, let's get directly into the coding. And this is a very basic project and I am not gonna use any like, uh, uh, what do you say, modules in this uh, game and I am gonna just use simple Python concepts uh, in this game. and I. Hope so that you know what a tic-tac-toe game is. Otherwise, let me just show you. So there are two players that play these games, and alternatively, they have to fill this whole uh, board by either this sign or this sign. So when a single player gets like this, he wins. Or it, uh, if a player gets Particular uh, vertical all three blocks uh, with the same sign, then he uh, he or she will win, and same goes with the diagonal. So three consecutive same sign will win in any direction. It's not a big deal. Okay, uh, now let's just get into it. First of all, I'm gonna make a function. Yeah, take that. So oh. first of all, we will just print it print it out like game is starting now let's say while true okay and uh, not while true let me just uh, play again so if a user hit the play again like uh, if a user tell the computer that they want to play again then this loop will run again so at first I am I am going to set its value to true and while play again. <clears throat> now uh, I am going to make the board and I am storing all these board positions in a list. <clears throat> And for now I have to give all the values like this 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and these uh, uh, this list variable called as board will hold the values like this position will hold this uh, this position will hold this position the second position will hold this position then the third will hold this hold the this they are better ways to do this but as we are uh, using just basic concepts so i'm not gonna get into it right now and now <coughs> we want to select the player so i'm gonna make a player player is equal to and i am gonna set it to one okay now set it to one now what will happen now I'm gonna ask the player that what what does he or she wants to be uh, you know uh, their marker. So player and I'm gonna use player player select your marker. And then I'm gonna take the input. So I am assuming that the player will either uh, select X or either will uh, give the input O. Okay. Now I need to save this input in a variable. I am calling it as marker. Okay. Now what I am going to do because I have uh, like let's take an example like player one. Player one choose its marker. X. So we need to set player 2 marker as O and uh, vice versa also. So I am going to make a function for that too and what I am going to do is player 1 player 1 comma player 2 is equal to set marker and I am gonna give the marker 
and this is the function but we are not going to write it just right now i will just finish this function right now and i am just assuming like if we give this x so what it will do it will give x here and it will set o here and if we give o here then it will set it as o and it will set it as x so i am assuming it right now but we are going to make a function for that so now what do we want to do uh, we want to loop again in the game take inputs from the user until a user born or the match has tied like the first user will enter x for example the second user will enter o then the third uh, first user again will enter x the second user will enter o now again the first user will enter x then again and it is all going to be in a loop then it will enter uh, it will the second player will enter x o and then the first player again will enter x now let's make y to and the bridge is more yeah while to so we have a loop inside we have a loop inside a loop this loop is when player want to play a new game and this loop is for uh, when player wants to give their input alternatively or basically play a single game so we are going to ask the player one what is his or her position so we will ask print and we will ask like player comma player enter enter your position and we are going to take that position into a variable known as post and i am also going to type cast it because otherwise it will be a string so now we need to check whether the position um, which is given by the player is already filled or not so we are going to make another function for that and i am going to take its input like i am going to use a if condition if check underscore pause and i am going to pass two variables here i am going to pass the position and here i am going to also pass the board this board because we need to check in this board whether this position has been filled or not and if this position has been filled we want to continue okay now the next thing that we want to do we want to put the marker on the board okay and how we are going to do that let me just show you we will check if player is equal to is equal to 1 i am going to set board and this is also a function that we have not created yet but we are going to create all these functions don't worry and i am going to pass the board i am going to pass to the player uh one basically the marker and i am going to pass the position else i will let us set board i am going to pass all the same things except the marker should be different player to the marker player to is the marker of the player to and the position now the next thing that we need to do is we need to display the board so this is another function and now after all of this we need to check whether the uh, whether the whether the player that has taken his turn uh, just now has won or not so i am going to check whether player is equal to equal to 
and I am going to check if check underscore win I am gonna send the board and I am gonna send the marker and check win is also a function so it is going to return a boolean value so it will work with if and I am going to write print player and I am going to break out of the loop else we will check If the player is not the player one, then it must be the second player, and we will check the same thing, but we will pass the second marker, and this will tell whether it has uh, it is won or not. Suppose like a player didn't win uh, in this loop, uh, in this iteration of this loop, and uh, but what happened is that all the positions in the board is filled up, so the match is. Tight and we can't play it anymore so in that condition also we are going to break the loop now let's say uh, if not or like if check the space we are going to check the space on the board and what we are going to do if the yes yeah. why it is showing If checkboard uh, this and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to print row and I'm gonna break the loop. Again. Okay, now if the player has not won and the game is not tied, so or the game is not draw. So what we are going to do, we are going to increment the player. Like if the player is one, then we are going to say the player plus equal to one. And what we are going to do in the starting, like because we only have two players, so if if player is greater than two, so set player equal to one. And we are going to do it after we have initialized the play. Yeah. Now, uh, I think the last thing that we need to do is we need to check because we have come out of this loop now. So, the last thing that we need to do is we need to check whether the user wants to play or not. So, if play underscore game or let's say replay. if replay then uh, play again is equal to true okay now what I am going to do I am going to make all the functions that we have not created but just hold it here the first function that I need to make is the set marker function so let's do that and what it is going to do, it is going to return the given value in this position and the other value in this position. Okay. Now let's use another def. And so what I am going to make a def set underscore marker and it is going to take a value marker. What I am going to do is if marker is equal to is equal to x so i am going to return x comma o else i am going to return just the opposite of this oh wait a second 
now here I'm going to return O and here I'm going to return X not that this function is okay we need to make move on to our next function and the next function is the check position function we need to check whether the position is already occupied in the board or not so let's make that uh, the function would be def check board and it is going to accept two values the first would be the position and the second would be the board okay what i am going to do if because board is a list i can pass the position here and i can check whether it is empty or not so if it is empty let me just see what i did there okay if the check uh, sorry if the position is already so what we need to do is that if the position is already filled then we need to go here so this condition needs to be true if the position is filled okay so this means it needs to return false return false and else if the position has something in it then it is going to return true okay now this function is done also let's check move on to the another function uh, the another function is uh, the next function is set board and it takes three values board player and position and the, this player is basically the marker so the next function let's create the next function set set board it is going to take three values like uh, let me just see and see what it is going to take. It is going to take the board, the marker, and the position. Okay, the board. Here I am going to call it as marker and it is as position. Now it is also very easy. What I am going to do is board position is equal to marker, and it will work just fine. Now let's move on to the next what do we say uh, function the next function is display okay this is a very interesting one and a long one uh, so let me just make it that display and I think it takes a value board yeah it takes the board so it is going to print all everything out on the screen okay now what i'm going to do is i gonna i'm gonna make the board using print statement and um, let me just make it first and then i will tell you how, how did i do it you will understand it by yourself uh, print and what i'm going to do is i'm gonna use the app literals here and what i'm going to do is uh, okay then here I need this again this and here I need this and again this okay now just give the value here board and this position should be 7 this position should, should be 8 and this position should be 9 now what I am going to print, I am going to print uh, this, okay, so now let's just copy it and change these value to 4, it is going to print out the board and we will make some changes if needed uh, later on but now let's move on to our next function that we need to make it came out pretty good I guess it will work so the next uh, thing that we need to make is check win we need to check whether the player has gone or not it takes two value board and what do we say the marker so what I am going to do uh, let's just left check win and 
it is going to take the value port and the second value it will take uh, it will be okay uh, the marker so this uh, line is going to be very long line huh? so i'm just gonna uh, cut the video here and i will tell you what will happen or how does it work later on so i have written the code here and we need to check how many combinations does it take like how in how many combinations we can win so the first combination would be this this is a combination the second combination would be this this is a combination the third combination would be this this is a combination then the fourth will be this the fifth will be this the sixth will be this the seventh will be this and the eighth will be this so these are eight possible conditions in which you can win okay so i have created a statement here what it is going to do it will check whether board one uh, let me just print it out for you again it will check whether whether board one is equal to marker which is like let's say x whether board two and and um, and whether board two is also equal to marker and whether board three or is also equal to marker so if this condition is true then it will return true now let's see what i have done so i have done the same thing for here board 4 board 5 board 6 again the same thing with board 7 board 8 board 9 then this way and then this way and this way so i have done all the things here and if you do not understand like why it is gonna return you should check my other video in which i have talked about the logical operators which are and or or so you must go see that i will link that video in the description so this is easy now let's move on to our next uh, function the next function is check space okay it is pretty easy so let's say def check space and it is going to take a board now what so it is now what i need to do is if i need to check if empty means if there is nothing in board and what i need to return okay so if there is no space left then it is going to say so yeah then it is going to say draw now so if there is no space in left uh, it is going to return here false and else it means there is no space left then it is going to return true now uh, yeah we have last function called replay and let me just make it real quick def replay what it is going to do play again true okay it is going to ask the user whether, whether he or she wants to play the game again or not so let me just print it print. do you want to play again answer equal to input if okay here let me just write if i slash n if ans is equal to equal to y over ans will be equal to small y return true oh. else return false so now let's just check whether our game works or not i'm gonna run all the values here 
okay both the cells were run now i am going to call the this function tic tac toe yeah we'll see whether we have some error or not so i'm going to call the function tic and it is asking game is starting please select your marker i am player 1 so i am going to i can select anything but i am going to select x so it is asking for my position now what position i want to enter so let's say i want to enter at this position which is 7 7 okay so it is giving me an error check post is not defined we see check post is not defined defined we miss okay how did we miss this set marker check board oh it should be check post check post and now let's run it again call the function again and i'm going to tell the marker this now i'm going to enter my position 7 and it is again giving me an error okay so the error is i know what is the error so guys the error is that our list index starts from c row so we need to dial it down either uh, either to zero or we can have something else comma here i can have like p so this will not work in any case and our index will start from one now uh, let's run it again x 7 so as you can see here it is printing 7 now it is asking player to enter your position so what i am going to do i want to print uh, i want to give my position like here it is that position is 3 so 3 now it is as you can see here x0 so again let's just finish this game real quick we can see like all the functions are functions are running well now Layer three. Okay, so there's some error in our code. It goes. Let me just see. Because it should have been X, and it is. It should not print player one, player two, player three, player four. So I think we have error in this position. If player is greater than two. so we need to move this condition from there to here um seven okay three okay now okay yes now this is working player one i'm getting the position one Yes, now it is working correct. Let's finish it real quick. Four. Now it is showing that player one has won. And do you want to play again? Yes or no? So I am gonna say yes. And it is again starting the game. So everything is working fine, and this project is done. But I want to do one more thing, one last thing, because it is not looking great. Like it is scrolling down every time. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to clear the output. Okay. Now, how can we do that? We need to import a library. So from i Python dot display import clear output. And now we just need to uh, clear the output. clear output okay and we need to also clear the output when we go the code clear output 
So now let's just do it again. So, and as you can see here, we do not have to scroll anymore. Three, one, and let's say two. So this was it, right? You can like probably um, probably fix this problem to. Uh, which is, uh, is now it's shifting up and uh, up and down but this project is complete guys and this was a very basic project so i hope that you understood all the concepts that we have uh, learned un until now in my python tutorial series and you can apply all those uh, factors or all those concepts here so this was it for this video and i am going to see you in another video till then bye bye